Hey guys, it's Maximus here, and uh, today I wanted to do another tutorial on Fusion 2.5. Now, um, I didn't mention this last time, but I'm, I don't think so anyway. I'm using the free version, and there's lots of limitations. Well, the biggest one is that um, you, your game can only be 2 gigabytes, which really sucks, because I like to make bigger games, but... It don't even matter, so we are going to hop in here. Um, a lot of people told me that I should do another tutorial, so I guess that's what I'll do. wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I've been working on, so you'll have to give me just a minute because I had to put a thing on my USB stick. Okay guys, so the reason I um, had to get the USB stick is because you are only, you can only have two gigabytes of uh, fusion games on your computer if you want to be able to make more. So I had to take it off my computer and put it on a USB stick so way I could continue using the free version. Now I'll go ahead and show you the game. I hope I don't get hit by copyrights. Um, actually I shouldn't because I don't have sound on it. So it's okay. Just know it has the Duke Nukem quotes and then heavy, heavy rock like Doom cover music. Um, now, yeah, you guys won't be able to hear the music, and it's good because I could get hit by copyrights. But here we go, we'll go ahead and frame one, F in and F8, and we'll try out my game. Yeah, and it has, it has lots of sound effects and rock and, you know. It's it's decked out with all the sound and animations as you can see when the zombies die. Whenever you shoot, there's gun sounds effects uh, and uh, sound effects. I put 712 here, and there are walls that zombies can't get through, and because uh, that's the last numbers of my username. And uh, whenever you die, you have the Metal Gear Solid um, Snake Death um, Death Scream. So that's that's what I added and you have the voice of Duke Nukem so I, in the beginning of every level I put a quick Duke Nukem line that I just found on uh, on the internet and uh, this is somebody else's cover of Doom music um, official soundtracks from the Doom franchise so uh, I hope I don't get hit by copyright if it does get through here if they've copyrighted their things. I, I know that's happened before, their cover. So I think it's a little ridiculous since it's following the pattern of something else. Now level 2 here is ridiculously hard, but I'll show you the layout of level 2 here if we can go to it. You just It's just this, this room and you come down here after fighting multiple enemies. Come down here to the bottom. Look how many enemies there is. It's ridiculous. But you come down here through the bottom, you go up, and, uh, yeah, and you go here, and that should take you to the next thing, but I didn't have enough space to make the next frame. So, uh, it just comes up to a screen that says, um, play next, play next part. So I'll go ahead and show you guys part two, if I can pull my stick out, because I don't want any problems with that, and give you just a sec. So hey guys, uh, here's my next part. Sorry if there's some background noise. I do have a two-year-old brother that's currently in the room with me. So let's just load her up. Part two. Okay. Um, I'm working on frame two right now, but frame one is just a maze that you gotta get to the end of, and it's full of zombies shooting blood-type projectiles. And uh, you guys can see it here. And I and I made the bullets bigger for like the spread shot, and I gave them shotgun sound effects. And you gotta find your way through this maze as there's rapid running zombies that are shooting projectiles at you, like that. And I did not implement a health system, it's just because I thought if I was going to implement a health or score system, I would just go ahead and do it. 
uh, from the beginning of the game. And that's why when you die, you have like a second chance to get more points before you completely disappear like that. So you could rack up score, but I ran out of space, so I never got to implement the score system. And as you can see, it's around 800 objects. And let's exit out of yeah. that and run it again. But as you see, it's running smoothly. And the game don't look too good without the audio. I mean, or sound too good without the audio. But once you add that audio in, like it is, it is actually really cool. Um, there's lots of heavy, heavy rock and hilarious Duke Nukem quotes. So yeah, there are hard levels. Um. You can see the layout. So actually, maybe you shouldn't see the layout. To my main, in case it ever releases on new grounds. But anyways, you would go up through here with a horde of zombies. And um, I don't know if I showed this last episode or not. I'll go check. It's but I actually can't remember. Okay, guys. So it did, it looks like I have not touched on like a really important part slash parts. So uh. Let me move that over to the side. I know it looks a little different. I really don't know what I did. It literally, like, I got on my computer. I accidentally clicked control something, and it did this to my, to the look of the thing. But I've got used to it. It's a little bit more of a pain in the butt, because you can't just click, uh, new frame. But it's okay. So, you can see all these little objects, right, in all my levels. Little objects that are with the zombies. And I put three objects, uh, th one for every zombie, and they, uh, three clicks fill up, two clicks fill up, one, or, no, or just click fill up, you know, he has three channels, but he does this, um, and I put a link in the description to his, his tutorial in the description of, of my, uh, last video. So, anyways, he, um... He makes it to where there's bouncing balls that just go around the screen and whatever they touch an enemy, it tells them to do something and it's just it's just basic easy AI with um artificial intelligence with click team fusion. So what it is is you is you uh like let me grab some let me grab a new thing. We'll go back to what we were doing the other day. I think it was this right here, a game. We have exceeded the limits, so let me go ahead and exit out and put this onto my USB drive. This is what I'm talking about. Then I'll delete it from my computer so that way we can uh, work on our game. All right, guys. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I have moved this over into my USB drive. So let's put that down there. Unplug it so it don't cause any interference. Okay, so I'm gonna open Clip Team back up, Fusion, and it's time to actually go on with this tutorial. So we'll go to File, Open. Was that a game? That's what we were working on the other day. Okay, we'll go back to Frame One. That's what we were working on. Wait, wait, we got Frame Two also. Uh, let's check out Frame Two. So, okay, so this is frame two. Oh my god, I hate dry rubbing. Ugh! Anyways, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a portal from from one to two. Now, I, I still don't know. Actually, I, th I think I do because you would just add a timer, or not a timer, but a counter. But I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial because I just never do it anyway. My, my strategy of making it to where you gotta get to the end of the level uh, and get and get to the thing on the top down shooter is just either make like a horde of zombies that way it's hard to get down there and you actually gotta play and clear your path or make it a maze and then add a horde of zombies like I did before so here's our enemies I can't remember what speed we have them on so let me check their properties oh yeah guys and if properties don't work remember always restart your dang computer or even or just the software don't be afraid of doing that. Okay. 
speed 10. Okay, we got good speed on them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new object. And it's going to uh, be an active object. And we'll... I'll show you a little uh, quick design here. Really simple compared to what I did before. Um, on my game. But it's okay. So we're going to drag from this top left to the bottom left without changing the size. And then you want to imagine there's one more thing. So that way it stretches across like that. And then we'll do the same about right, about right here. And we'll go down until she's even, which she is. And we'll make... Sorry about that, bandy cam just cut out. I really hate bandy cam, but don't even matter. I know I should upgrade, so don't even comment about that. We're going to put a light green circle around there like that. And grab a darker green, maybe like this. That's too dark. Like this, and we're going to fill her in. Guys, I might just skip this from here on. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So, be right back when I'm done with this. Okay, guys, so now that I've completed the portal, well, I'm going to add a little bit more texture in because that's what I did last tutorial on the guy's hair. So, we're going to take pressure 5, not 51, 5, and uh, size 5, not 51. Okay, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back again. Sorry for any background noise, but I just used my airbrush a little bit and uh, put in some textures. Now what we're going to do is create rotated directions. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, play it. Make sure it's good. Alright, so it's there. And now what we're going to do is put a collision. And for now, I'm just going to do it like I did uh, on my game I made that I showed you guys earlier. So we're going to uh, active collisions another object with active four and it's going to make it go to the next frame like that so now if we click fn f8 because that runs your whole application fn f7 we'll just f7 runs the frame um but we want to run the whole application so we, we can run all levels and if i say frame if i'm not talking about an animation i'm talking about levels of the game so here we go I guess it starts us off on love or on frame. I guess this is frame one in it. I guess uh, oh, I put the, I put it in the wrong dang um wrong dang frame. So oh, it's because we have frame one and two backwards. Oh geez, what did I do wrong last tutorial? So we need to put this. We need to copy this and put it into frame two paste it like that and let's get rid of this giant bullet i really don't know what's going on okay after we got that we got this portal here fnf8 okay so i guess this is level one now and as you can see it don't have any collisions with the object so i must have not added that in which i will here soon but it should take us to the next level, which is what I'm not understanding. Oh, wait, it's because I need to still put it in the event editor. So I'm going to go to the event editor and just... Wait, actually. It should still do it, but it's at a higher... It's at a higher thing, so I will be right back and check what's up. Okay, guys, sorry for that. I royally screwed something up, but um, I'm going to load it back up and see how well it works. Okay, so this should take us to the next frame now if we have it in the... Okay, yeah. Alright, let's try it. It should work. Yes, okay, so as you can see, it takes us to the next frame. Sorry for not being clear on that one before, and I need to add collisions with the enemy. I must have not done that. So yeah, let me go do that and show you guys how it's done. Okay guys, so yeah, there's a still a lot I have to I have to touch on, so we're gonna go ahead and add conditions. So what we're gonna do is collisions with another object. 
active and it, it I want it to destroy our guy all right and did we already set up a death animation I don't know if we did or not so let's see if we did that uh, active Dis disappearing no we don't have a death animation but it's okay we'll just act like he disappears okay yeah, the dude disappears. Uh, you can you can add a death animation here, like you can draw like a pile of blood if that's what you want him to turn into and he dies like that. Well, actually, what we could do is we could just go to speed one loop. Oh, that's amazing. Nah, but uh, you know you can add death animations by the little disappearing um thing, but. It's okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, oh wait, I already did, that side's here, and it destroys it, alright, that's good, so it should destroy the enemy when we shoot him, yeah, it does, and it destroys us, okay, so, I guess that's, uh, the basics of frame one, but I don't think we've added AI yet, yeah, I don't think we've added AI yet, have we, nope, so it's time to add some AI, so what we're gonna do is create oops crap, create a new object active create another object active okay and create another object active and this one uh what we're gonna do is go to properties um, I've learned to use this editor a lot better, so that's why I'm going better this this time around. Okay, and we'll put the speed at 100. I'll test this out. Yeah, 100 should actually work really well. Okay, and then this one, properties. Um, then we need bouncing ball. And 100. And for the last one. We need bouncing ball and 100. Okay, so now that we've done that, it is time to put some stuff on it. So, go to event editor, collisions with another object, um, right here. Okay, and that makes this should make what well, active three with active 5 okay and this should make active 3 uh, it will make it stop and we'll do the same thing right here collisions another object active 6 and movement wait did we just do stop yeah okay so this one will be uh, this one will be start, and the last one is for projectiles, so we'll make, we'll make a new, uh, active object, right here, insert active object, and this will be a projectile, so, here we go, um, let's go back, Collisions, another object, seven, and it'll make it launch an object, and it'll be this object at the speed of, let's say, 15 in the direction of, giving this guy a little bit of a homing technique, make him seem more real where he actually shoots at your character, active one. Okay, oh, we want to change that back to, let's say, 10. Okay, so now, oops, sorry. Now, you guys can see that, oh crap, I forgot to make them their barriers. I forgot that there ain't barriers. New condition, uh, active 5, sorry about that. Um, position, test position. We're going to test the position of all these. Um, let me show you how it's done right here. You click these in. Alright, and I'm just going to do that for the other two, so be right back. 
Oh yeah, by the way, if you want, you can go ahead and do it for all of your active objects. I'm not going to do it for all my active objects, but it's definitely a choice you have, and I recommend doing it. It just helps take away bugs and other things and cheats. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and do that. I'd recommend it. Okay, and once you've tested all the positions for all the active objects that you want to do, go ahead and make, um make them bounce so when this leaves the play area this gets to bounce bounce and then this one will be bounce and bounce okay this should be no wait this one goes over here so this one will be bounce and Movement bounce. Okay, and once you start getting the feel for this editor, everything just becomes kind of common sense. It's just you have to learn how to use it first. So now when we start up our game, it bounces all around, and whenever it hits it, um, whenever it hits an enemy, as you can see now that enemies are firing projectiles at me, and I gotta run away. So. They're, they're running around and stopping and activating the enemies. So it kind of looks like they're like stopping, turning around, going back, you know, pacing, that kind of stuff. And now what we'll do is for these three active objects that is giving our uh, enemies AI, we'll go ahead and make them invisible. So, um, go ahead and do properties. Uh, untick that, do the same for this one, untick it, untick it, and, uh, you can either have a bunch of slow ones, like three per enemy, or you can just have not very many, but they're really, really fast, so they bounce around the screen a lot. Um, either way, will work fine. Now, if you're gonna make a big map, I'd recommend two or three per zombie, per enemy, but for little maps like this, you can just make small, fast ones, it works pretty well. Um, I still might put six instead of two, or instead of, uh, three. But now, you should not be able to see them. No, you can't see them. And now they're shooting projectiles at us. Now these projectiles don't hurt us because we haven't added the collision yet. But you guys should know how to do that. Since you have watched my tutorials. But it's okay. If you haven't, I'll go ahead and just do it anyways. So, collisions, another object. This is what a lot of it is, and we gotta do the same dang thing for frame two, so it's it can be a timely process sometimes if you're gonna make games like this. I'm kind of slow on the go, so sorry about that, but collisions between these guys, I want it to destroy them, and destroy there. So now, as you can see, if I get hit by one of these suckers, I die, and you, and you can lay these around the map and make them like trip mines but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to go ahead and like that and delete them okay and now the last thing we're going to do is do sound effects now um there's multiple websites where you can get mp3 files and sounds and such but I'm just going or and there is youtube converters I don't know if you want to use them or not but Here's what, here's, um, what you do if you want to add sounds to your game. So, let's say that on, uh, on the collision between, between here where he gets destroyed, we'll play a sound, like a, like a death scream or something, cause he's dying, you know, or maybe a zombie eating. Okay. I really hate Bandicam now, I need to get a new screen recording software, it just quit, and I have no clue what I just missed, I think it was right here before I was about to add this sound, but anyways, there's uh, multiple, multiple websites you can use to get uh, mp3 and wave files, but you can also use uh, YouTube converters, but here's uh, what it is, we'll go, or just create your own sounds. If you want to make an armpit fart and call out a guy talking, because that's how 90% of 8-bit sounds. 
then that's okay. So let's go ahead and add a sample. Now you want to go from a file. Now before I went from an application, you never want to do that because then you're looking for MFA converters, which makes no sense whatsoever. Just go to uh, just go to the bottom one from a file. Go to go to your downloads, your whatever, wherever you have it at. Um, most people have it at documents or pictures. So anyways, I'm going to use WAV files because I didn't know MP3 would work at the time. And here you have all of your mp3 files and since it's when he dies i'm going to add the metal gear solid um scream sound effect so that'll work like that now you guys won't be able to hear it because i have it muted but when you actually make this yourself you should be able to hear it and if you don't you can always contact me and ask a question or even google it but the only problem is i can't find too many tutorials on a lot of this stuff so uh, oh yeah and what I'm doing is basically a more advanced version of what other people on YouTube are doing but it's just it's just the simple stuff of how you make a top-down shooter in this software okay so um right let's add some more let's add some more so on upon pressing shift, what is the the next frame restart current frame? Okay, so I guess I added these before. That's really nice. But where is this press spacebar right here? Okay, so when you press spacebar, what we're gonna do is since he fires out a bullet, um, we're going to add a sound effect. Samples. I got uh, I got this off of the internet and. From a file, it was a dude that was giving away authentic gunshot sounds. So I have a pistol shot and I have a shotgun shot. We'll just add pistol since the dude has a pistol anyway, I believe. As I don't know, I can't remember. I don't pay much attention to my own videos, which I don't know why. It's just I've been working like 30 straight hours on my other game, like day and night. I was up at like four in the morning, so. <laughs> Um, that's why it's like that. So, here we go. It plays the pistol shot sound effect whenever you do it. Again, I can't show you guys because I have it muted. In case I would get hit by copyright somehow. or it's Also, it can, like, override my mic and it makes it a real pain in the butt. So, uh, you can add these to whatever you want. I'm not going to go into any more detail of these. But that's how you add sound effects, um, like that. You just click add sample. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I guess we'll do one thing. I'll show you one thing. So we'll go to we'll go to storyboard control start a frame. We'll go here. Uh, samples play and loop sample. One thing I want to show you guys. Pick a song. I'm going to use the Battlefield 1942 theme, and we're going to open that up and make this into zero. So that way you get a valid expression there, and it loops infinite amounts of times. So now, whenever you start the game, you should have the Battlefield 1942 theme playing. Well, whatever, whatever theme you want to play. I don't care what song it is, or if, even if it's just a farting noise that repeats itself. It don't really matter. It's just whatever you guys add. And yeah. So, that is that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to cover in this video. And if I can find anything that people said, then uh, I'll go ahead and put that on there too. So, be right back guys. Okay guys, so as you can see, this person is asking me, how do you add music? And I just showed you that. Um... I really don't know if this if you can do this by legally or whatever the thing is so I'm not going to be using it in this video but you can go to this website called 2 and it's like the best thing ever now you can only do mp3 and mp4 but uh, and AVI I guess so there's another website which I will uh, show you if you just type in um, if you type in YouTube, and none of these will give you YouTube or none of these will give you viruses or anything. 
YouTube to Wave, right? And this is the first online video converter.com. I know it sounds like a scam, but trust me, guys. I haven't scammed you so far. It is it, it works really well, and you can convert to Wave and all kinds of things. So yeah, um, I just answer your question in this video, and it looks like you guys are making a game, which is really awesome. Glad to help, and uh, yeah, if you want help with anything else, go ahead and tell me. Um, even even if you'd like to collaborate sometime, because I wouldn't mind making a game and putting it on new grounds. So yeah, here you go, guys. Okay, um, Bandy came to stop again, oh my god. Oh, and let's not forget the most important thing. Make sure you always save your game, because this software can be a real pain. A real pain. Yeah. I don't care what people say. This software can be a pain. It will get rid of your data any second. It'll corrupt it. That's why you need to save every five seconds, because... If, if you run out of your gigabyte limit on that software, then you are screwed. It, it'll corrupt your software. And I spent five hours trying to get everything back. So don't, don't forget to save. But yeah, guys, hope it helped. See ya.